concerning the family business. Was your grandmother still involved? My grandmother was involved with the company until she was about 85 years old. She used to come every day and love being exposed to all the new products, sitting in meetings, brainstorming, meeting with marketing and advertising. And I really saw that passion and that drive at a very young age. In 1995, she retired. Was that hard for her? Could she let go of this business that she'd built up? Esty could never let go. Even when she retired, she didn't really retire because she was still having, I remember I was at her house visiting, and she had first production products sent to her constantly from all the brands. So she never really retired. And even in the very, very end, when she couldn't really walk as well, she would still get in the car and go look at the department store windows at Christmas time because there was something she loved beautiful things and she loved women and fashion and style and beauty and it really inspired her and made her happy. In 2004 she passed. How did that impact the family and the company? Well, I think it made us closer. Um, I think it was a very, very sad day but when we think about what she had accomplished and what she had created and the concept of the American dream and what she had brought to women around the world. She had this incredible idea that every woman could be beautiful if you just take the time. Every woman, if she just does five minutes, you don't need any more than that. Just put on a little glow and your face right over the glow so the glow looks like it's part of you and powder your face very lightly and with a very beautiful soft lipstick and then put a little freshness up here. You walk in a room, you feel wonderful. Not just put powder on and run. That same year after losing her beloved grandmother, Erin was named Senior Vice President Creative Director at Estee Lauder, bringing in new faces to advertise the brands. In 2007, John Dempsey, the group president, had his own vision of who would front their new campaign. Erin, in August 2007, you launched the new private collection. Private collection, correct. And you became the face of the advertising campaign. It was the first time a family member had ever done that. Why did you make that decision? Well, it was actually John Dempsey's um, decision, which was really an interesting story. Private Collection was a fragrance that my grandmother had launched many, many years before. And the concept was that she kept it in her private collection before she launched it to the public. And it was so special, she wanted to keep it for herself and close friends. And we were thinking about the marketing calendar for fragrance, and we were all saying how wonderful that concept was, and even though she had done it in the 70s, it still felt so relevant and so modern. So we decided to relaunch Private Collection, and we were kind of discussing who should be the face, which one of the models, and John Dempsey said the answer's in the room. And we all kind of looked around, and he said, you know, please, let's do a trial shoot, and let's see if you feel comfortable and we like what we see. And when we shot it with Craig McDean, we recreated a wonderful Scribneski shot that had been taken of Esty in a black top, but we did it this time in a black turtleneck. Very simple, no jewelry, just beautiful makeup and hair, and it became very iconic to the brand.